Hello everybody. I think this time we eventually nailed export from Bubo Flash to SuperMemo. This time it seems to be working correctly, including images and repetitions planning. So I'll show you how to do it. First, let's find a PDF we want to export flashcards from. I know I have some nice images here, so let's choose this PDF. We are searching for flashcards. Mind that to have any export options, I need to highlight either this or this or both because uh, you are not allowed to export somebody else's flashcards. Well, but to make it yours, it is enough if you just memorize it, then it is yours. And we want flashcards with images, so has in image. And search. We have flashcards with image occlusions. And here we have new shiny export option. So we want two things. First, SuperMemo XML format. And second, media files. They have to be exported separately. So let's start with media files. Yes, we have it in download directory. We have some images and I will put it into C slash temp only because this is the path that I am going to use in exporting actual XML file. So let's get back to Bubo Flash. And you see, this is the reason uh, why I unzipped uh, images into temp directory. And uh, that's really all. We will be importing into a new uh, collection. So uh, we start uh, numbering uh, items of flashcards, as we are still in Google Flash, they are flashcards, they will be items in SuperMemo, uh, from one. So I'm clicking show. And you see my images are here. And um, if uh, flashcard is already learned, we have number of lapses, number of repetitions, interval, and two factors that are needed uh, by SuperMemo. They are defined on SuperMemopedia, so I just calculated them. And last repetition. It seems to be enough to get SuperMemo going. So we are saving it, save as into the same directory, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, we saved it. Now let's go to SuperMemo. We see this is an empty collection. Uh, it's a first day and there is nothing outstanding um, and no items. So let's import it. Let's import the collection that we just exported. Mm. Import. XML import. Uh, I'm not changing anything. Doesn't matter for this presentation. Uh, 
uh, we see the report, no errors, and we added uh, all items. Now we see we have 15 outstanding out of total 16. So let's see what they look like. This is the question. We have uh, image occlusion, show answer, and we have the answer. Sure. Let's say we remembered it great. And SuperMemo just planned next repetition. That's it. It seems to be working. Um, I'll show you one more thing uh, to convince you that it is really working. Let's create a new uh, collection. and let me export everything from Buboflash. So now, let's clear all the filters. So, does not matter here. We still need to keep this filter, of course. Uh, we are not filtering on anything in particular. So now, ah, let me filter. Ah, uh, no, that's it. That's that's all. And you see, uh, within this search result, uh, I have 263 flashcards to repeat, which is the same. As I can see on my home page, basically that's everything that I have to repeat for today. Uh, so if I export this, uh, I will not be bothered with um, media this time. Okay, again, save us into the same file, yes, and we are done, so let's import it. It will take slightly longer. Okay, so we are done. Of course, we will have no images, but all learning history and sorry, learn, um, all repetitions planning and HTML formatting is there. So here you go. Are you convinced? I am. Two hundred and sixty-three total. Nine hundred eighty-two and outstanding. So let's see just a few examples.
nicely formatted HTML with occlusion or closed deletion. And answer. And yes, SuperMemo is planning repetitions, so I think I think we won. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video, and on Google Flash website, of course.